We are cleared into the area. Verify cameras are on. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Here comes some Gs. Oh, there's five Gs. Oh! Six Gs. Ah! Seven Gs. I wasn't ready to make a sequel until we had a special story worthy of a sequel and until technology evolved so we could delve deeper into the experience of a fighter pilot. The first movie became something that changed a generation. So this is exciting to come back and get in those jets again. We worked with the Navy and the Top Gun School to formulate how to shoot it practically. Because if we're going to do it, we're going to fly in the F-18s. The aviation sequences had to be real. So our actors went through three months of grueling training. The Navy says if you eject, you have to be able to survive in the water. So we had to go through that challenging underwater program. It's intense. You're flipped inverted and you're having to try and get out. From there, Tom designed this all-encompassing aviation training for all the actors. I started them out in a single-engine airplane to build up their spatial awareness inside the aircraft. Oh, wow. That's amazing! Oh, my God! Next, we took them to the L-39, and they went and flew aerobatics to feel what it's like in a jet. It's a speed. Wow. From there, they'd graduate to the F-18 Super Hornet and actually launching off an aircraft carrier. That's what I'm talking about. The actors also had to learn how to run the cameras because when they're up in the jet, they have to direct themselves, essentially. Okay, I'm rolling. I had to really teach them cinematography and the lighting so that they understood what's gonna look good on camera. Sun angle's great. Everybody thought it would be impossible for actors to really be in the jets. But that's the gift that Tom gave us, that by the time we got up there, we could handle it. It still blows my mind that we've done this. There's nothing like it.